archival monolith. It looks quite old, too. I wonder how long this has been here. It still works. Impressive. What is this? This account seems slightly different from the story we were told as children. I thought the Light King came from an area near the Great Tree. <laughs> Which version of events is true, I wonder? Huh? Don't they say facts are often stranger than fiction? I certainly think that's true. Yep, yep. Send you to come find me? You. You must be the girl who was playing hide and seek. <sighs> I finally found you. <laughs> found me? No, I just came out of hiding for you. Be pretty good to make it all the way here. But that's still not good enough to catch me! So you must be Eo. I feel like I've met her somewhere before. <clears throat> I know you're playing hide and seek, but you still shouldn't have come in here. Come along, I'll take you back home. Huh? Nah, I wanna play some more. But if you're gonna be all pushy about it, then I guess I'll go with you. Mm-hmm. Today's gonna be so much fun! On second thought... Oh, wait. That would be best, since I need to get her out of here. But afterward, I need to check the spot where I saw that swordsman. Well, aren't you thinking super hard about something? <laughs> <laughs> well, regardless, we have to go back up to the surface. Stay close and follow me, Eo. Hold on a sec. Say, what do you suppose that is over there? A door? Don't you want to check it out? <laughs> Let's take a closer look at it before we go back. Honestly, Eo, I guess I'm a little curious about it, too. This sanctuary might run deeper than I thought. <clears throat> Just a quick look, okay? But even if there is more to this place, I'm only taking you as far as that door. Yay! Let's go!
say facts are often stranger than fiction?
<laughs> Fact is stranger than fiction, isn't it? Hi there, lady. It's been a while. Eo, I'm glad you're safe. Given the condition of the capital, I... I was really worried about you. Yeah, can you believe it? But you knew something, didn't you? About what just happened. About what's going to happen. What? So, what are you gonna do now? Yo, are you? <sighs> Nothing will change. Huh? No matter what difficulties await me in the future, I want to help those in need until the very end. Really now? I actually came here to say goodbye. Huh? Didn't I tell you? I was looking for something. Well, I finally found it. Wait, this is so sudden. Well, goodbyes usually are. But you gotta promise to see me one more time. What? Sure. <laughs> okay then. When the time comes, I'll find you. Okay. I still have questions I'd like to ask you, too. So, I will wait for you. Thanks, lady. See ya! I had a hunch that Ia was no ordinary kid, but... Alright. I must perform my duty. I need to work hard so I have good things to tell Eo. Finally, I reached the monolith. But will it activate? If the Valley of Kings is where they tried to build the villa, then the Wall of Truth must be the mural in the depths of the tomb. In the garden. Must be Saren Garden. I'm surprised to find information about Saren Garden in this sanctuary. In olden times, people knew that the Great Tree was the cause of disasters. And those who tried to fight back against the Great Tree were... I can't know for certain unless I see it for myself. I must go to Saren Garden right away. That's a monolith. 
Why is this one so large, though? You finally made it. Donna Eclusia. No, Maiden of the Great Tree. <laughs> Just kidding! Hiya, lady! Nice to see you again! Yo. I'm surprised you came here, considering all that's happened. You're really trying your best to lead everyone to the very end. It's clear to me now that you're no ordinary Eternian. Are you... a warden? Hmm... Who can say? Sorry, but you're no exception, Donna. I need to make sure you're worthy, too. Even I can't stop the ritual that's underway in the Sanctuary. Here goes! I won, but where's Eo? Uh, well, this sucks. You were strong enough to defeat my Saurian form. You have surely overcome many hardships to stand here as the final maiden. All right, don't be modest now. Walk forward and examine the final monolith. Eo. The final monolith. It activated. The last record was about the saint who saved people from the cataclysms of the Great Tree.
So this is the final chapter of the lost history of Eternia's founding. I never knew the real history behind the temple. The people would be shaken to their cores if they found out about this. But then, who built this sanctuary? And why? There's more. As the people enjoy their prosperity, the threat depicted on the Wall of Truth will one day be lost to time forever. But the threat will come one day, like a bubble that must eventually burst. You maidens who have come to the sanctuary, you maidens who are my successors, you will know this truth and bear it on your soul forever. That is the true duty of all maidens, the reason for their very existence. Until such a day that the final maiden arrives. This message is for all the maidens of the Great Tree, and... Well, don't you look surprised. Eo. Are you actually... Looks like you figured it out. Yes, I am Eo, the first maiden of the Great Tree. You did a wonderful job overcoming my trials, Donna. I knew it. But why do you look like that? This form is just a manifestation of my soul. My power is weakened over many years, which is why I look like a child now. But finally, I'm able to fulfill my duty. Uh, Eo, I mean Lady Eo. What is your duty? <laughs> Lady Eo, huh? I don't like formalities any more than you do, Donna. I prefer you keep calling me Eo like you've been doing. Huh? Okay. This sanctuary is where I revealed the true history to the Maidens. But when I say history, I don't just mean the past. I also mean the present and the future. The present and the future? Yes, for you see, this sanctuary exists to reveal the truth to every maiden of the Great Tree. <sighs> does this mean all the past maidens knew the truth about the Great Tree? I wouldn't lie to you. You've seen it with your own eyes, haven't you? I've been revealing the truth in this way so the Wardens wouldn't notice. I don't believe it. Not every maiden could handle the truth, either. Some of them cussed me out or accused me of being a heretic. Others just went mad from the revelation. Even so, I wanted the maidens to know the truth. But you were able to figure it out before I even told you. Why have you been doing this? The Great Tree of Origins will destroy Eternia. Tomorrow is never guaranteed. Someday, you won't be able to do the things you currently take for granted. The world is a cruel place. At times, it even feels like a fleeting dream. Perhaps the same could be said of people's lives. No matter who you are, Everyone meets death in the end. Whether you're a highborn noble or a lowborn bandit, everyone must return to the void of nothingness. Consider every action a person performs in their lifetime, every decision that they make. Do you think they're meaningless? I... You'll have to face that day too, Donna. What will you think when it finally comes? Will you think your life was meaningless? I shouldn't have become a maiden. It wasn't worth all the suffering. I should have worn my mother's ring and kept my vision sealed away. Was I only helping people just to feel like I mattered? Or maybe you'll think to yourself... I wish I had never been born. Will you regret your life to that extent? Never think that. 
All my experiences are the reason I was able to connect with so many people. If even one of those events were different, I wouldn't be the person I am today. Hmm. I think that's true of Eternia as well. Decisions made by you, the royals, and our ancestors. That is our inheritance. That's why we're alive right now. Even if Eternia disappears, or if I disappear, whoever succeeds us will inherit our legacy. So, even if Eternia is on the verge of extinction, I don't think my actions were meaningless. Wow. I didn't think you'd actually have a response for me. Yes, you exist as you do now because of me. And your existence is proof that I once existed. I hoped your brand of determination would be the thread that tied all the maidens together throughout the ages. Yo, so that's the reason you've been telling the maidens the truth about the Great Tree. Yeah. Well, anyway, I was worried about how you'd handle the burden of being the final maiden. But I see I was worrying over nothing. <laughs> Thank you for worrying about me, though. Still, Io, even if this world seems like a fleeting dream, no matter what happens, as long as the world goes on, so do our wills. So I won't give up until I'm ready. Wow, I'm impressed. You know far more than I expected you to. I guess you have your own answers. <laughs> yes. Looks like there's nothing left for me to tell you. I'll leave the rest to the younger generation. I'm getting too old for this stuff anyway. Um, Io? I certainly didn't expect to have this conversation with you. But thanks to you, I feel like I can see this through. Thank you too. Perhaps it's irresponsible of me to say this, but go get him, Donna. I will.